In mathematics, a binary relation R on a set X is anti-symmetric if there is no pair of distinct elements of X each of which is related by R to the other. More formally, R is anti-symmetric precisely if for all R and B in X if R and R then R equals B, or, equivalently, if R with a B, then R must not hold. As a simple example, the divisibility order on the natural numbers is an anti-symmetric relation. And what anti-symmetry means here is that the only way each of two numbers can be divisible by the other is if the two are, in fact, the same number. Equivalently, if n and m are distinct and n is a factor of m, then m cannot be a factor of n. In mathematical notation, this is or, equivalently, the usual order relation on the real numbers is anti-symmetric. If for two real numbers x and y both inequalities x y and y x hold then x and y must be equal. Similarly, the subset order on the subsets of any given set is anti-symmetric. Given two sets A and B, if every element in A also is in B and every element in B is also in A, then A and B must contain all the same elements and therefore be equal. Partial and total orders are anti-symmetric by definition. A relation can be both symmetric and anti-symmetric, and there are relations which are neither symmetric nor anti-symmetric. Antisymmetry is different from asymmetry, which requires both antisymmetry and irreflexivity. Examples The relation x is even, y is odd, between a pair of integers is antisymmetric. Every asymmetric relation is also an antisymmetric relation.